close your eyes and make yourself nice and comfortable. Take a big deep breath in through your nose. Feel your tummy expanding as you do. Breathe out gently through your mouth. Again, deep breath in through your nose, feeling your tummy expanding like a balloon and breathe out. One last time, big deep breath in and gently breathe out through your mouth. That's great, now just relax. Now imagine a bubble of glowing light as white as the snow surrounding your whole body. And this light is so bright, it's like a mini sun, but it doesn't hurt to look at it. It's so gentle and so soothing, and it makes you feel so very safe and protected. This light is like a force field of protection, and it will only allow love and positivity to surround you. Now imagine that you are in your own bedroom and you are looking at your own bed. And you see, sitting up on your bed, a very large orange teddy bear. And you wonder where it came from, because you haven't seen it before, it's not yours. The teddy bear has a beautiful necklace around its neck with a very large crystal hanging from it. It's very sparkly and it shines ever so brightly. The teddy bear has a bright green floppy hat on its head with a big purple flower on it. It looks very colourful. And it's just then that you hear a voice say, Hello. Startled, you look around the room, but you can't see anyone. The voice speaks again. Hello, it says. You turn to look at the teddy bear on your bed and you realise that it was the bear that spoke to you. The orange teddy bear is smiling a wonderful smile and has big, beautiful blue eyes. Um, did you just speak to me? You ask the teddy bear. Yes, the teddy bear replies. I have come to visit you and to invite you to come and have some fun with me today. Oh, wow, that sounds just great. The teddy bear tells you that it is called Alex. You know that Alex can be a boy's name or a girl's name. So you get to decide whether your new friend, Alex, the orange teddy bear, is a boy or a girl. Alex stands up off the bed. And you see that Alex is very large indeed, almost as big as you. And Alex tells you the sparkling necklace is very magical. It can make the wearer able to fly. How cool is that? Alex pulls out another necklace from a pocket. You don't know where that pocket is, but it's there and hands it to you. You put it around your neck and you wonder what will happen next. Alex opens the window in your bedroom and steps out onto the windowsill and then just jumps out. Oh my, come on, shouts Alex. It's your turn to jump. So you think to yourself, well, if Alex can do it, so can I. So you two climb up onto the windowsill and well, you just jump. Oh my goodness me, you are flying. You don't know how you're doing it, but you are flying. You fly high up into the clouds following Alex and then swoop down just as Alex does. Oh, this is so much fun. Alex says, while you're swooping in and out of the clouds, they can both fly to a very special place. It's Alex's favorite place of all. 
Alex tells you to follow and you both fly. You swoop up and down, having tremendous fun. In and out of the clouds, passing the birds. Well, the odd one or two birds anyway. After a little while, when you've been flying around, just having lots and lots of fun, you see below you, snow-covered hills, gentle hills, all looking very beautiful and very fresh. And very clean with not a single mark in the snow. Alex swoops down and lands on one of the snow-covered hills. So you swoop down and you land too. Well, you land with a bit of a bump. Yeah, you're only a beginner with this flying thing, really. And this makes you and Alex laugh out loud. Behind a nearby tree, which looks amazing with snow covered all over its branches, and it sparkles. It's like, it looks like there's little silvery bits in it. It's so shiny. Alex pulls out two snow sleds, one for you and one for Alex. Alex says that this is the most wonderful thing to do and it's such great fun. This is Alex's favourite thing ever. So for just a little while, the two of you will get to ride your sleighs all over the gentle snow-covered hills. And you will get to speed very fast down these hills. How much fun are you going to have together? Lots and lots. So climb aboard your sled and zoom off with Alex and just have lots and lots of fun with your new friend Alex and just enjoy yourself and whiz along through the snow. Wow, that was great, wasn't it? Could you feel the cool wind whipping through your hair and on your face? Did you fall off your sled 
I bet you did. Alex asks you if you would like to have a sleepover. Well, yes, of course you would. Who wouldn't? And you wonder where you're going to have this sleepover. So Alex takes you to his lovely white igloo. And an igloo, if you didn't already know, is a house made of snow bricks and ice, really. And Alex's house even has a front door. So you go inside with Alex and you find that it's very warm indeed. You see a lovely little fire pit in the middle of the room with bright flames dancing in it. And you wonder why Alex's house isn't melting with the heat, but it isn't. It's a very special place. There is a pan of hot milk on the fire. Alex pours it into two big mugs, one for you and one for Alex. It's very tasty and it makes you feel all warm inside. After the two of you finish your warm milk, you're both feeling a little sleepy. Well, you would with all that fresh air and all that flying and all that falling in the snow. What an exciting day you've had with Alex. So much fun. But now it's time for bed. And there are two big beds with big fluffy quilts and pillows on them. One for each of you. You both climb into your beds and you snuggle down for the night. And you thank Alex for giving you this amazing day. And you thank Alex for showing you how to fly and how to ride your very own sled. Your eyes are closing now. You feel very, very sleepy, but you feel ever so happy. So you and Alex say good night to each other and close your eyes. And you breathe calmly and peacefully as you begin to drift into a beautiful night's sleep. You feel so happy, so peaceful, and your body begins to fall asleep, and then so does your mind. Oh, you're so very sleepy. And remember, when you wake up in the morning, you'll be back in your very own bed. But also remember, you can come and visit with Alex any time you want to. You can ride your sled down the gentle snow-covered hills with Alex once again. You can play in the snow and you can fly, fly high up into the sky. So sleep tight now, night night.